What's going on everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with yet another video update. Today is Tuesday, May the 24th, 2022. And today, first thing in the morning, we want to address some bull jive. We want to talk about some stuff that's out there about your boy, about me. This behind MLM, whatever, whoever's behind this website is straight up comical. Um, and we're going to talk about what they've said about me and um, we'll do a separate video on what they said about Meta for Yielders, which is who they use to get to me, right? Um, I just want to address some things that, so y'all can hear it come straight from me. Um, before I get started, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube that's showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more and nothing less. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like. Um, if you want to be updated and notified, there we go, about everything going on here, including this BS right here, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to talk about, um, for those of you that don't know me, for those of you that don't know who I am or what I do or the fact that I'm on this YouTube space and I'm in the platform space like so many others, but we just happen to do our journey a little bit differently here. Um, all of you that watch me and really know me, you know, I don't tell people what to do with their crypto. I just show them what I do and people make their own decisions. All right. Let's just be real frank about that. I'm never out here telling people you need to do this, except for when I tell people to put their 2FA on all their platforms and all their wallets, because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. That is what I tell everyone to do up their security, make sure that their uh, crypto that they've earned is secure or the crypto that they buy is secure especially if you're playing in this risky hype space this platform space all right number two everyone that watches this channel should understand the risk in platforms platforms can be here today and gone tomorrow i've been saying this for over a year now so those of you that are new i understand we're growing in popularity and different things like that that's perfectly fine so i don't mind saying the same things over and over again but i want to just make sure that everyone understands that that's what that's what we're about here, BOJ. We're not about losing money, but we understand we'll lose, we'll lose to win. All right. Um, that's just a mindset thing, though. That's not what we set out to do at all. All right. And we're in platforms, and we've been in platforms. Some have been more successful than others. All right. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about what behind MLM. And I did not want to give them any publicity because all they spew is hate and nonsense and all this stuff but they put my name in it this time they wrote about the, before they just put my picture now they put my name and now they're accusing me of something so i want to talk about it all right so let's go ahead and share the screen and i want to bring up this this uh uh article that they've written about metaphy yielders that just happens to have my name involved so let's start from the top it says shortly after cotp collapse and and some of you will realize that Behind MLM is simply here just to talk about the bad stuff going on in the market. They're never talking about anything good. All they're doing is talking about the negative things. They speculate a whole lot, in my opinion. And they can write whatever they want. Um, but once they start using my name for stuff and start saying that I did things, when I literally document everything that happens in my journey, it just gets a little bit out of hand. So I just want to take the time to address it and then be done with it because I, I don't have no real need to uh, keep dealing with this stuff. So let's talk about it. Shortly after COTP collapsed, Meta Fee Yielders CEO, uh, Meta Fee Yielders accomplice CEO, Michael Daher took to Facebook to hold a live. Acknowledging some investors were having a meltdown or a panic, Daher went to deliver more bad news. Blaming the market, Daher framed Meta Fee Yielders collapse as just a pause. Now they're saying collapse and they're saying all these words when the live literally stated that they're not going anywhere now all we can do is kind of take the ceo's word for what he's saying he is the ceo of this platform okay um however he did say multiple times that we have to pause he didn't say this was the end or anything like that so we have to make adjustments people can come out and say we have to make adjustments about their company but he never said anything about it collapsing they said that it's a collapse all right so it says we need to make some changes to our system we need to do uh, we do need to make some changes to our algorithm because I wasn't prepared for a crash. Who was prepared for the crash? Nobody was prepared for the crash. That's just how things are, all right? Since Daher went on to announce, not so, not so much changes, but more thanks for your money, goodbye. 
And they quoted this like this was actually something he said. He never said this. So you guys got to be careful about what you're reading and where you're reading it from. Honestly, behind MLM, you can look at everything they've written. Now, some of the stuff they've done on other companies may have actual legit information. However, this guy's take for take take your own word for what you want it to be. I you know I can't tell you what to think about it, but I know for damn sure he didn't say thanks for your money goodbye. <laughs> I don't know where you get this quote from. Anyway, so let's go. This is for the next thirty days. We are switching off. Um, there is just going to be some changes to the website. We are not going to put a timer on it. It's not going to be that long. We are taking deposits as well as withdrawals. No money has gone missing. All right. So we had already gotten an initial date where there were some changes where there were the, the withdrawal amount was a certain amount until I think they were saying June 15th. Okay. Now, a lot of things have happened in between then. Um, withdrawals and deposits, as we all know, in Meta Fee Yielders have been paused, which is something that they talk about here. So um, it also says, Daher goes on to suggest KYC will be implemented as a potential exit scam tactic in the future. Do you, like, do you guys hear this? <laughs> it says, Daher goes on to suggest that KYC will be implemented as a possible exit scam tactic in the future. Really? <laughs> Live chat support for investors has also been terminated. It has not been terminated, okay? In other words, behind MLM believes that it's over. And like, like I said, everyone is entitled to their opinion, all right? And it says, I say that because the past 20 days, Metafee Yielders has been soliciting $10,000 investments. Metafee Yielders 4.2 a day plans, which remember are introduced to the reduce the 42 day plan expiry cash out, were introduced on or around May 4th. Let me read that again. It says, Metafee Yielders 4.2 a day plans which remember were introduced to reduce the 40 day plan expiry cash out. Really? They were into, what does this link even say? What is this, what is this bringing up? 37 days. And they said it was, it was introduced to reduce the 40 day plan. It was still 42 days. So I don't know where they're getting this information from. It says the plans have a 30-day expiry with 20 days have passed by today. So obviously this person doesn't even know what the deal is with the platform. They don't even know what the – it's 30 business days, which is Monday through Friday, which is 42 days. Still. <laughs> you still count Saturday and Sunday. You don't get paid on Saturday and Sunday. So this, this platform, no matter what it believes in Metaphy Yielders – doesn't even have its information right about the platform. Want to know why? Because everything that this person talks about behind MLM, he's talking about from non-experience, outside in. He's not a part of these platforms, all right? Which now makes him able to try to use my face because I am a part of the platform. A great picture, by the way. He just chose me in a perfect, perfect little face. It's almost like I'm about to say F you behind MLM. <laughs> It's like, I'm, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, um, so let's go. It says, with a large number of MLM crypto Ponzi's collapsing over the past four, uh, over the past fortnight, <laughs> a number of which are run by the same group of scammers. So the person, I don't even know if he can type right. Anyway, with a large number of MLM crypto Ponzi's collapsing over the past fortnight, a number which is run by the same group of scammers, the speculation. A new BS infinity percentage plan isn't likely to keep people reinvesting. So instead, Metafee Yielders had just turned off withdrawals altogether. Like COTP, rather than acknowledging their exit scamming, you have to pause ruse to drag things out. Math is math, though, and at the end result, however, is always the same. Now, first of all, they pause withdrawals and deposits, as far as, I'm, as, far as I know. All right, let's keep going. Man, this is just, this is just something else. Well, they've actually used my face. Here we go. So this was from May 20th. This was just a couple days ago. It says, under the tag, it says, Gerald Smith. And he used my full name. <laughs> of Bank of Gerald claims to have stolen almost $300,000 through Medifee. The majority of Smith's ill-gotten gains are believed to be referral commissions. Okay, so y'all know how we roll in this space. If you do the work and share these platforms that you have, I have put my own skin in the game in, ladies and gentlemen. So I put my own money in, 
which is something that I always do in every platform. I don't ever talk about a platform that I don't have my own money in, ladies and gentlemen. That's not how I roll. Some of you guys just think I'm a referral commission junkie, as my boy RG Trader says all the time. And you can think whatever you want to think about me. I don't really care. That's perfectly fine because I make myself clear when I speak. <laughs> I don't wait for uh, uh, fake news stuff to come out. I make sure that when I'm speaking, I say what I mean, right? And stolen? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We share links, you share links. Everybody that wants to make a little bit more money in this space, they share their link. And no matter what, sometimes it's about placement. Sometimes it's about timing. I was one of the first people to talk about this platform. I was one of the first people to have Michael Daher um, on my channel through an interview. And through all the efforts of sharing the platform and then other people deciding that this is something that they want to try as well, I have earned almost $300,000, probably even more than that if I was able to withdraw at this point, but I have withdrawn almost $300,000. Yes, that is the truth. However, me claiming to have stolen anything is not the truth, 100% not the truth. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Behind MLM says. I don't care about anybody that agrees with Behind MLM. Those that know me, y'all know where I stand, so I'm not giving this too much energy I just want people to know straight from my mouth how I feel about this, because this is a part of the journey, y'all. New levels, new devils. I'm telling you, the higher you get in any space, the more the crabs in the barrel, they try to pull you down. And I don't know this behind MLM person, but I know they have a track record of talking about this space. So they are in our niche, right? They're gaining from this space because they know that a lot of people are going to be doing this regardless of whether they – whether behind MLM talks good or bad about them. And there's a lot of people that are changing their lives through these platforms, including myself. So, of course, it's easy to attack me. But um, let's keep going. I never stole anything. And ill-gotten gains, let's talk about that. When platforms set up referral commission plans and affiliate program plans for everyone to take advantage of, everyone does not take advantage of them. That is their own personal choice, whether they want to be an active earner or a passive earner. Those that watch me, you know what they are. But those that don't, active earners are the ones that share, their opportun share the opportunity and their journeys with other people, which is what I do. All right? Now, passive earners don't feel the need to do that. They just want to earn their money on their own, and that's perfectly fine. You can do that as well. But I had to talk about this because this was sent to me um, by a, a, a colleague of mine, a good buddy of mine, and I was like, man... They have really, they, they want me bad, don't they? Well, they go get me today, all right? They're going to get some time from me today. I'll give it to them because they use my name. And my name is all I got. Well, my kids go and look up my name. They're going to see Gerald Smith of Bank of Gerald claims a stolen 300000 And they're going to be like, Daddy, did you steal 300000 I was like, I'd be like, you wish I stole 300000 wouldn't you? <laughs> But no, that's not how we roll. We don't have to steal here. All we do is find platforms that pay, and we crank them out. We talk about our journeys, all right? So then, of course, it digresses from me, and then starts talking about other um, issues in here. It brings up Michael Daher and an old picture of, from 2014. Like, these guys can't let it go. They can't let it go. And let's be clear. Let's just be clear. I'm not going to do the rest of this. It's, you know, they're talking about this being a Ponzi scheme. The actual owners of Medfield is believed to be the usual Russian Boris CEO suspects, whatever. We already know the risks in these platforms, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot of the new people that don't understand that whether we have a CEO face or no CEO face, these platforms can have the best intentions or the worst intentions. We already know the risk. And for those of you that don't know the risk, you are soon learning the risk if you don't know it by now. I talk about it all the time. These platforms can be here today, and they can be gone tomorrow. Sometimes it's about timing. Sometimes it's about amount the, the amount of effort you put in sharing. But when you share, make sure people know the risk. And that's something that I take pride in. You know what I'm saying? I make sure that I tell people, look, if you are afraid of losing your money, don't put it in. If there's anything that I tell people to do, it's manage your risk. Please, if you see me put in something, that don't mean you put in something. But I'll tell you why people decide to put in more money, because they see that things are working for other people, 
and they think that oh i can just i can put a whole bunch of money in here and i'll be financially free from this one platform or or i believe that this platform will last forever or something like that no ladies and gentlemen no matter what the platform is you always have to manage your risk all right this is exactly why if platforms fail or they succeed you must manage your risk period okay we're not here to steal any crypto from anybody platforms put together an affiliate program because they want people to share their platform and that's what we do we share platforms there's many of us out here that do that all right now they are singling me out because i may be um, the more popular one in the space right now um, there will always be people that come and go in this space and that's just the, is what it is but i want to make sure that everyone understands this behind mlm is fishing they don't know me they ain't talked to me they ain't asked me about nothing as a matter of fact they use my name and my likeness to probably promote their own bull jump and whether this is a ponzi scheme or not right whether this is a scam or not whether it's an actual paying platform with the licensing that they say they're going to get or not whether michael daher is a real person or not real ceo or not let's all understand this very clear if you cannot deal with the risk that comes with the space that we talk about every day don't get involved but if you do decide to get involved don't be that person that wants to blame somebody else because of something that happened to all of us. Don't be that person that wants to blame one person for something that's happening to all of us. Y'all don't think I'm experiencing withdrawal issues, pending withdrawals? Everything that you guys always experience in every single platform, I have experienced. And some of you have even experienced greater things than me because you may have a different network or you may have um, uh, uh, done a different process. You might have put in less money. You may have withdrawn uh, less. So it was under a certain amount. But for this speculation that goes on with this website, with this behind MLM website, I just got to say, because this is the second time they've used my picture. One, I don't condone this activity. So I don't know what the law is about them using my name and my likeness for some speculation. Uh, I'm not going to dig into it too much because the beauty about me being able to have my own platform is I can speak my own mind. I can say what I want to say and what comes from my heart and what comes from my heart and what is easily able to be documented is that I never stole anything. As a matter of fact, there are people out there that are impersonating me that are actually trying to steal money from people. And I make sure that people understand that I will never ask you for money personally. I have no need to do that. I have no need. And I have no need to steal from anybody when I am putting probably more money than most of the consumers of these platforms out here that watch me. So I don't, I made a little bit of time for behind MLM today. But going forward, I have no time for that kind of nonsense. So if you see it out there, you can feel free to send it to me. I'll laugh, I'll chuckle along with you, whatever. But just understand, I don't have time for that mess. I don't have time for BS. And you can go down the list with the exception of providing information on Mr. Eddie from Amini FX. This, 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 uh, um, this website feeds itself off of speculation and negativity. And over here, we don't roll like that. We don't speculate on nothing. We're actually very patient and we let things play out. All right. A lot of you out there are like that, too. Some of you are very impatient and that's OK. I've been there, too. The second thing is. I have no reason to steal from anybody. I put in enough work on my own for my family and I don't have to lie. I don't have to do no clickbaity stuff. You know, my captions on my video might get some attention. But if you're watching what I'm saying, if you're listening to what I'm saying, pretty much lines up with whatever I put as the caption. I have no reason to mislead or lie because that's not what this journey has been based on. That's not why I have over 12,000 subscribers. There's a reason people watch my channels because I keep it real. I, I'm very transparent. I'm very transparent even when these companies don't want me to be. So let's keep it all the way real. All right. I'm very transparent. I always show my back offices and different things like that. And, um, we are making a little bit of time for behind MLM today, but going forward, just know, I don't got time for that mess. 
I don't have time for lies and speculation. People can say whatever they want about me. All my stuff is backed up here on YouTube. Check the dates. Go back. We keep it funky over here. We have no reason to lie, and we're going to continue to do the same thing. We're going to keep on cranking that crypto from these platforms out here that are paying. All right? If they're paying, then we're looking into them. All right? And just because there's a little bit going on with Metafee Yielders right now, doesn't mean it can't bounce back. Doesn't mean it's going to come back. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But the difference between me and behind MLM is I'm not going to speculate and spew a lot of nonsense. I take things as they come, and we'll roll from there. And if these are the last days of Metafee Yielders, then we must remember the rules that we always stay in this space no matter what. Never invest in anything you're not willing to lose. Period. I don't care how good the plans are. I don't care how it looks. I don't care if there's a CEO. I don't care if it's trading Forex crypto market. I don't care. If you are not willing to lose it, do not put it in. I don't care if you put $250,000 in or $100. If you are not willing to lose it, do not put it in. Period. Point blank. All right? Follow the rules or don't play. It is that simple. But for people like behind MLM or whoever is behind it, could be a freaking robot for all I know or care. That is not something that we're into here at BOJ. We don't have to steal from people. We're giving out information. We're giving out free game. And this information is worth way more than $300,000 $300, or any amount of money someone can give me. So with that being said, Put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is the wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, hit the notification bell as well. I will not be sharing the link to this because I don't want to give it any extra publicity. If you want to find it, I'm sure you can just go to the Behind MLM website and find it yourself. But you're going to have to work to do that. And uh, if you want to do that work, go ahead. But I'm not adding any extra publicity from the video that I'm already doing about behind MLM and it using my name and likeness to put down another platform and to also accuse me of stealing. Ooh, 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 it hurts. It hurts, ladies and gentlemen. But new levels, new devils. And uh, God prepared me for stuff like this. A long time ago so say what you want behind MLM say what you want uh, watchers and viewers of Bank of Gerald but I'm gonna be consistent we're gonna keep doing what we've doing what we've been doing we're gonna keep sharing our experiences and our journey and that's what this channel is about this is about my journey in these crypto markets and channels and different platforms and if you don't like it unsubscribe but I think we've helped a lot of people understand this space at the very least and some of you have even messaged me and said, I've made more money in the last year watching you guys at BOJ than I have my whole life. And for those of you, I got to clap it up. And for Behind MLM, come on, man. Y'all are tripping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.